in an unsupervised way, discover what these concepts are, use something about that concept in order to make some inference about how complicated it is or how complex it is and therefore how much data you need to understand it, figure out, okay, this is a really complicated concept. I probably should keep a lot of redundancy. This is a really simple concept. I don't need that much redundancy. And then make that appropriate choice of what do you want to remove. So these are this is, I think, where a lot of the challenge comes from. But these are the sorts of factors that you have to keep in mind when you're trying to design these systems. How do you draw the line of a concept, though, right? Like, because then it's like, well, the elephant and the dog, but what about mammals? And then what about, you know what I mean? It's like, how should people think about it? Maybe it's that why you need datology, because it's hard, <laughs> it's hard, to, it's hard to talk. Yeah, no, I think that I think that's that's right to some extent. I mean, look, it's an empirical question, like like all things are, right? Is is that with every data set that you can choose different level of fine grained? Ultimately, it's a hyperparameter. It's a knob that you can tune, right? For for how aggressive are you going to be with respect to creating new concepts versus keeping concepts together? Um, and it's one of these things where you know, I think to your point, it's why we've run hundreds and hundreds of thousands of experiments to try to figure this out. I, I think you know this is something where it requires just a lot of experimentation to understand how to do this. 